Good morning. Well, the Olympics is about to happen, and today I'm at the very top of one of Vancouver's supreme icons, Grouse Mountain. Today, my very special guest, Executive Chef Dino Cazola. Welcome. Thanks, Nick. It's a great pleasure to be here. And what are you going to do? You're going to do a dish what, during the Olympics? Yeah, this is one menu? of the dishes that uh, will be uh, on the uh, Olympic menu and whatnot. So what we have is a little uh, seared salt spring island lamb loin with cassoulet and heirloom carrots. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we're going to showcase it. something local. Yeah, BC. very much so. So the first thing, I got my pan hot here. I'm going to put a little duck fat in there. Add some great flavor to the... Uh, the duck lamb itself. Fat. Yeah, That's, gotta have the duck know, fat. Duck fat is actually lower in, in yeah, cholesterol. Very much so. yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's certainly, like I say, it imparts that wonderful flavor. We're gonna put a little salt and pepper on there on both sides. First, yep. you're gonna heat this up. You wanna sear and nice caramelize the, all, 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 nice all around. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we're just gonna give that a quick flip over. Got some nice color on there. And then after you sear this, this is going into a hot oven, right? I put it into a 350-degree oven for about 10, 12 minutes. That takes it to a nice medium rare. After that point, you can cook it any longer. If you want it well done, cook it up. Okay. So we've just seared that off. Okay. So just for the sake of our purposes, we're going to transfer that to a pan. We're going to put that over. Now there. you're doing the accompaniment, which is the... The um, cassoulet. Ca so now for this point, I'm going to take a little bit of my butter. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, cassoulet is a very famous bean dish from the Gascony yes, area exactly. of south of France. Yes, exactly. Yep. So here I have, I have my white beans that I cooked earlier, so they've been blanched, and I cooked them down with a little bit of veal stock, so that's where you're going to get that little colorful. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to add that to the dish. Okay, I'm also going to add in some chopped shallot. Mmm, this smells wonderful. And a little bit of carrot. And we're just going to give that a little bit of color. Okay. Now, most of your menu that you're showcasing, um, it, you're not doing a special Olympic menu, but your your menu always showcases seasonal and regional. Seasonal, local, and you know, organic ingredients, yeah. So yeah. it changes constantly with the season and what becomes available, what our suppliers provide for us. So it's, yes. it's great in that sense. So what I've just added here, Nathan, is a little bit of confit lamb shoulder. Okay. In at Salt Spring Island. So that was just rubbed in a salt cure, allowed to stay in the fridge overnight. And the next day, I uh, immersed it in, uh, again, duck fat. Okay. Let it cook for about three hours and 350 degrees. Just slowly braising yeah. it, softens okay. it up. Okay. So that was there. We're going to add a little seasoning to that again. And then we're going to add a little bit of veal jus to this just to bring it all okay. together. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to allow that to come together. We're just going to put that off to the side. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is get our carrots accompaniments. Now you have some, a um, little bit more butter. You're going to heat that up. Yeah. And some of the carrots you have purple, white. I've got purple, white, and, and orange. orange. So yeah. again, they're uh, they're an heirloom variety in that sense. Uh, the traditional carrot way back in the day was uh, was like a black and a purple. Oh, carrot. Oh, seriously? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And as they were developed and and uh, and crossbred with and genetically modified and whatnot, they became orange. They became orange. Okay. They were more consumer friendly. Okay. So we're just going to add our carrots into there. That up again. A little, little bit season. of salt. Yeah. Okay, so the first component we're going to do, we're going to lay down our cassoulet onto the plate. So again, it's a dead simple dish as far as that goes. I mean, it's all quality ingredients and whatnot. It's local, it's fresh. Now, this, this dish is served on their menu at the observatory, which on is your fine dining yes. restaurant. It's a beautiful restaurant. You have a great wine list. And... One of the best view. I, I think this is the highest restaurant in the Lower Mainland. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so our carrots are heating up here. Got our cassoulet down. Now we're just going to arrange these carrots onto the plate here. And where are these coming from? These are coming from one of our organic suppliers. We get them from Barnston Island. So oh, okay. that's so everything's local. Yeah, everything's yeah. local in that yeah. sense. Okay. So I'll get one of these yellow ones. The down. yellow ones. Yeah. Okay. So again. Okay. So now we're just going to slice this up. And I like to cut it in a fairly thicker slice in that sense. That way you get a much nicer texture to it when yeah. you're biting into it in that sense. And, you know, certainly for lamb, medium rare is really wonderful. Medium rare, definitely yeah. in that sense. You know, I wouldn't want to, you know, certainly people have a preference for well done, but yeah. I mean, like anything yeah. in that sense, it definitely has a, uh, a detrimental effect on the, uh, on the product itself. And the last thing we're going to do, Nathan, is just heat up a little bit of our lamb jus. So that's just a jus we've made from the bones that we cleaned okay. up from the lamb. No, oh, it's very fragrant. It's very subtle. Very, yeah. you know, I think this just showcases, a, you know, BC at its best. Certainly. Very much so. And then, there we go, just to finish it off, I'm going to put a lid mm. on top. It's a very nice, delicate jus. It's not overly chloe or heavy. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, that's a gold medal dish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, my very special guest, Dino Gazzola, the executive chef, Grouse Mountain, the observatory restaurant. Well, we're here for the Olympics, and till next time, have a great day.
Thank you. Yum. If you'd like a copy of today's recipe, you'll find it in Wednesday's Vancouver Sun in the food section. Our recipe is also online, of course, globaltvbc.com. Look for Saturday morning news and you'll find all of our Saturday chef's recipes. And we have a gift certificate mm. to give away. Mm -hmm. You could go to the Observatory Restaurant. Just email us at weekendnews at globaltv.com and we're looking for email number 11. Now, your stomach has been growling all morning, that little tummy of yours. It's rumbling even more now after seeing that. I'm glad you said it's little, but it makes a big sound <laughs> when it's hungry. <laughs> you know, I dig myself a ditch here enough. I mean, you yeah, know, there's you, something, you kinda I've do. shoveled myself out of it, and now I'm just <laughs> staying above ground with you, partner. Just barely, though. Looking yes. very nice in your little golden outfit there. Well, I'm trying, you know, this is, the Olympics are coming up. I'm trying to project a, a golden theme for Team Canada. Look at you. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Are you how buying about, it? Yeah, how about a medal uh, winning sports cast? Which medal are we talking about? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Go ahead. Well, golden, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. The uh, Pittsburgh Penguins are making the most of their Western Canadian road swing. They won in Calgary and Edmonton tonight. They look to make it three in a row. Might have to do it without Marc Andre Fleury, though. He, he uh, fractured his finger against the Oilers. As for the